<laughs> Cross species, economic, and social barriers to make lifelong friends with a diverse group of students in detention and find Boring. out through silly dancing that you're not so different after all. Well said, Ryan. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to Quarantine Couch. Monster Prom, we're getting close to the end now. Hello! Oh, sorry, I thought you said Ginkgo, and now I realize you said getting close to the end. I thought that was my time to shine. Ginkgo? Getting close. I was going to say Ginkgo, if close. you just let me finish. Ginkgo is stealing my girl Vera from me, and also ruining my chances with my second person, my boy Damien. So I'm in shit, even though I'm smoking hot. This game's so realistic. Yeah. Ginkgo takes all the all the bitches and I'm get left with the scraps. <laughs> it was like that time at Comic-Con, remember? I remember. Yeah, when you were the side piece of my side... My... Sidearm. Side piece of your sidearm. Yes. My arm has two sides and one of them is a side and it has a piece. And that's you. Where is this going? I don't know. Go to the library. That's to the library. That's, that's the library. Yeah. That day you spent some time on the library's PCs, mining some Bitcoins. I think this is so funny, the dramatization. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency. But you guess that nobody actually has any fucking idea how it really works. Anyway, you gain plus two bitcoins, which is equal to two million dollars, which is two monster dollars. <laughs> it's almost like you've seen this before. <laughs> Later, you, Vera, and Mir yeah, Vera and Miranda meet to prepare your case for the ruthless rhetoric class. Rhetoric, I can talk. Your scenario for the week: monsters finally rule the world, but puny humans still demand equal rights. How will you deal with such an audacity? I like her just evil little cackle she just did there. <laughs> 14 hour workday, media censorship, start a fictional war. Wow, that, um. Yes, that'll work. And we know because it is that... working. <laughs> <sighs> that sounds like so much work. Can't we just throw money at them? Oh, our cake. I heard you, if you let them eat cake, they calm down. <laughs> What about, do you have any ideas? You're not one of those group members who just lets everyone else do the work, are you? <laughs> we both keep skipping words all the time. It's hilarious. I haven't noticed you do it. I know I've done it, but I haven't noticed you do it. I th I've definitely done it, or I just butcher them completely instead. I just think we're very <laughs> self-centered. I mean, you know, on our mistakes. <laughs> I thought you said self-centered, which is also true because we've made everybody suffer. <laughs> we have. We have. <laughs> Let's be honest. I... Read me my choices, friendo. Remember the three R's. Relocation, re-education, and reintegration. The problem is that they're not happy, so let's repress, repress them into happiness. That first one sounds kind of Nazi-like. It, it sounds... They both sound very Nazi-like. Let's be real here. I'm going to have to go with... Just remember the three R's. Yeah, that's got a slogan, you know, that's marketable. You know what I mean? The f and Vera will like it. So. Okay. So smart. You propose setting up safe havens for certain model humans where they can enjoy equal... No, damn it. Other face is going to like it. Miranda. But these safe havens are actually propaganda factories designed to show that monsters are naturally better than humans. Never mind, Vera will like it. After that, indoctrinated humans are sent back into the wild to spread the correct idea. <laughs> it's a good... Oh. It's a good plan. But what about the ones that won't buy it? Well, we need to get the food for the safe havens from somewhere, don't we? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Miranda's a cold, <laughs> cold bitch. It's true. I love her. All right, I'm switching to Miranda. She's no Vera. True. Miranda's cost effective thinking convinces Vera, or at least scares her enough to concede. You gain plus two creativity and plus one smarts. You are so smart and strong. Much better than those puny humans, right? Dude, my stats are just fucking climbing. Climbing. Oh, no, you get some amazing stats, too. Yeah, though. I'm in a good place. Is that my charm? 
Although you get no charm and you're broke. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get points with either character. It didn't last look one, like so you did. I don't know. I don't know. I might go. I haven't been to the auditorium before. And when you were in the auditorium, you got some sweet costumes. And I want to see my girl in a costume. So this is what we're doing. Yes. Yes, I do. Hell yeah. Look at you. Alas. To burn or not to burn. Alas, poor Yorick. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you aren't especially good, nor inspired, but you look hot. For once, it seems you aren't getting the classic creativity boost from the auditorium. What? But afterwards, while talking to your classmates, you're having trouble conveying to your point in a discussion. So you decide to convey it through music. You start singing and suddenly everyone else joins you in you in a kick-ass musical number. It's so amazing that the people with whom you were arguing totally get your point and change their minds once the song is over. You gain plus two creativity. <laughs> this game is so weird. I fucking love it. It's amazing. Also, your creativity stat is out of this world right, right now. Right, innit? I can just create my own girl to bang up from. <laughs> Later, you see Damien packing a bag. Damien, who looks hot in his armor, I'm not going to lie, but he hates me now because I don't like getting shot for some reason. When clearly, <laughs> I actually do like getting shot. How dare you? But Damien don't know that. I need to set him straight. I'm going to wait for the weekend to de detention. I have fucking detention again. Why? Just because I rigged the teacher's lounge door with booby traps that poured selkie piss on whoever opened it? I mean, oh I didn't even set anything on fire this time. Let me spill the tea. This school is strict as fuck. Anyway, just brainstorming some ways to keep things entertaining beyond fucking ditching. Do it. Do it! Just fucking ditch. Do it! <laughs> Cross species, economic, and social barriers to make lifelong friends with a diverse group of students in detention and find Boring. out through silly dancing that you're not so different after all. Well said, Ryan. <laughs> it's got to be the do it. It's got to be the do it. There's no other logical option. I can't even see that bottom one. It's so might... long and boring. I think man, that might be the first time you've purposely talked over me before. <laughs> Why, what, of course it's the first time. Why would I do it? It's such a rude and horrible thing to do. Ginko. I know, it's not like I do it all the time. Damn, why didn't I think of that? I mean, I just did, but I didn't consider it as a serious option. I need to put stop putting the mouse over the ear. Uh... If I skip yeah. detention, <laughs> what are they going to do? Give me detention? I can do anything. Make a bonfire out of the desks, jerk off into the potions. And I'll just skip the tension forever and wreak as much havoc as I want. Fuck yeah, havoc. <laughs> well, you may have created a monster, but at least he's your monster. You gain plus two smarts and plus one boldness. Let's trade places. Well, my stats might not be as good as yours, but at least I'm not broke. Everybody chooses a movie. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Oh yeah, we did this one before. Let's have to... Pick different movies. Legally Blonde. Good to hunting. <laughs> Player order is decided based on how weird it would be to watch porn based on the selected movie. Uh, uh. I think Legally Blonde is the easiest to transfer into porn. That's why I think Good Will Hunting, yeah. turning Good Will Hunting into porn makes like a creative challenge, that, uh, like a, which will make it interesting in itself. And somehow it would tell, still tell a moral story. Yeah, exactly. So you'd yeah, something. you'd learn something about abuse through porn. <laughs> and isn't that what the world is all about? Isn't isn't that what porn is all about? Isn't that the, what life is always needed? Learning to therapeutize through porn and abuse and abuse. No, you don't learn through. Yeah, I win. <laughs> this joke is stale. <laughs> Week three, noon. Bing, bong, bong, bing. Uh, bing, bong, bing, bong. Bong, bing, dong, bing. Bing, itty, bong, itty, bong. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You know, that's what I'm here for. That's what I so do. So I want to go over here because I want more Scott voice. I want, I want this guy to come into play who we've not spoken to at all. Yeah, holy shit. I guess you could just not see people for the whole game. Revere's over here, and I can cock block and get in with Vera, which is, I think, what I want to do. Well, maybe it's too late for that, though. 
You know? I don't know, man. Let's do it. I don't know, man. Let's go it. You revive at your chosen table to find Miranda folding napkins at Vera. How do you fold napkins at somebody? Fold them into arrows? And then, like, point the arrows at the person? <laughs> do you want to know what this one is for, Vera? No. I'll take that as a yes. The rose-shaped napkin fold is for birthdays between the ages of 16 and 22. Miranda's hands move fast as lightning, turning the rose into a gorgeous white swan. By contrast, this swan folding is for the first weddings, third weddings, and swan giveaways. <laughs> <laughs> as a fashion enthusiast, I have never been so bored by a piece of fabric. Oh, and this black swan folding is for weddings where you plan to brutally murder all the guests. Now I'm significantly more interested. <laughs> Not very popular, the black swan folding. Okay, that's sort of cool, but I'm still aggressively uninterested. Aggressively uninterested is amazing. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely using that. You happen to have some napkin folding skills yourself. Maybe you can spice up this interaction. I think I can. You decide to show off your most impressive napkin fold. If you fold the napkin like so... Sorry, I had a bubble in my throat. If you fold the napkin like so, it creates a self-aware napkin whose sole purpose is to fold short napkins. Oh, what is my purpose? You fold napkins. Or... Oh, God. <laughs> this writhing snake fold is for when it's time to leave Vera alone and stop explaining napkin folds. That's the one. That's the one that's going to make Vera love me. Well, that's quite a specific fold. Under what circumstances one would one use? Oh, I see. Damn right, you see? I notice how my whole head is covered in writhing snakes. So basically, just assume don't talk to Vera about napkins time is all the time. It's a year-round festival. People the world over celebrated by not folding napkins at me. Well, it's not a very elaborate napkin fold, is it? Oh, she looks angry. You explain that what your fold lacks in complexity, it makes up for with the 12 ounces of cobra venom it can spit at will. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Well, I see we subscribe to two different schools of napkinry. I'll leave you two to it then. I've got 12 ounces of something I can spit back, though. <laughs> your reward for running Miranda off is a one on one lunch with Vera. You never felt so alive. Even the narrator became Although you only there. gained your first point with Vera, and I've gained like six points with Vera, I feel like you're stepping on my jive right now. I'm a little upset, Ryan. You should be. You should be, because I'm coming for that gold. That sweet Vera gold. All right, M fine. Maybe go up here um, and talk to Vera. Oh, no, you can't, because I'm sitting at that table, and I fucking hate you. All right, I'm going to go with Scott and Vampire Dude. Who Yay. Comes to, uh, like quadruple, uh, quadruple Ginkgo scene. Yay. <clears throat> As you approach your chosen table, you see Liam carefully framing his artfully arranged jelly dessert for a transcendent food pick when... <laughs> it, you know, it, this is probably a bad time to ask, but when you see something written like that, am I supposed to read it out real slow yeah. or letter by letter? Yeah, you're like cheerleading it. You're cheerleading it. Like F-O-O-D-P-I-C. Fight those picks to victory. Oh, I see. It rhymes. Yeah. F-O-O-D. Pick a P I C. <laughs> Ride those picks to victory. <laughs> close, close <laughs> enough. What? What does that even mean? When I say food, you say pick. Food. Now. <laughs> food. Stop. Two, four, <laughs> picks, eight. Food, do we appreciate? Food picks! Food picks! Go! No. Oh, I thought he'd say no again. <laughs> I was trying to be smart. Cease this incessant chanting this instant! No. Ah. What? But I'm trying to help you take the best food pick. You've been trying to take this food pick for like 20 minutes now. You gotta snap a pick so you can eat your tasty food. I don't eat, Scott. I only order this food so I can take pictures of it. And you're not helping. Oh, bro. <laughs> I know. I know. My cheerleading just isn't good enough. What I need is a cheer partner to take me to the next level. And I think I know who that cheer partner might be. 
It's Ginkgo! Everybody knows No, what it's you need Ginkgo. is a swift kick in the... But it's too late. Scott's already chosen you as his cheer partner. Now it's up to you to have... I can't read. It's now up to you to what the two of you will do. So, we've got to pick Liam up and toss him in the air. It's the only way to really amp him up. Liam's food picks are art, so we've got to use art to cheer him on. The quiet art of mime. Hmm. Mm. That's a tough choice. Mm. I'm going to go with Liam's food picks are art. Ah. So you're trying to, like, smooch up to Liam now, are you? I'm just trying not to put too many points in uh, Scott's favor so it doesn't distract from my Vera goal. Ah, clever, clever. I like it. I like it. You lead Scott in a totally artistic, totally silent mime cheer that involves an invisible rope, an invisible dog sled, and an invisible hot dog buffet. I'm disgusted. Uh, the fact, the fact that you burped <laughs> twice during that, that, that one sentence. <laughs> It got stuck. He didn't even phase right, me. I thought I was going to throw up if it didn't I'm just happen. so used to it at this point. It just didn't even phase me. I was like, yeah, that's a normal thing for Ginkgo to do. <laughs> it's so funny that he's used to it. You eventually leave Scott trapped inside a tiny box and move with Liam to another table. Sorry, the, the, the bird speech is just replaying in my head now. <laughs> Thanks for saving me from that. True food photography, or as I call it, the photographic this elements. And not to be rushed. Are you sure he's okay over there in that box? Why did you become Eastern European all of a sudden? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't done his voice very much, so it keeps getting modified a bit. It started out as kind of Waluigi vampire, and then I don't know. It I, I don't that. dislike it. I'm just asking the question. <laughs> uh, uh, you're pretty sure he's fine. You let him out at the end of lunch, and he licks your face. But most importantly, Liam tags you in his tramp and food pick. Is this for real? Ooh. I love the idea of a vampire that doesn't eat food being a foodstagrammer or yeah, whatever they call yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. It's fucking great. Everyone choose Everybody a chooses brand. a brand. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. I think we've had this one, but we've got to do it different brands. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Heinz. Magnum. You said Heinz again? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said Good Will Hunting again the last time. You, I got away with it, so I thought I'd go again. <laughs> Oh, I thought you said a different movie before. I'm fairly certain. <laughs> Player order decided based on how cool it would be to live in a nation ruled by the selected brands. Start debating now. Heinz. That's like communism brand for like free beans and sauce all the time. You will never have a dry chip if your country was ruled by Heinz. <laughs> <laughs> My argument is that... Living in a... I don't know how it would be to live in a nation ruled by Magnum, so I don't really have an argument to make for Magnum. But I do have an argument to attack Heinz. And while I didn't know Heinz makes beans, I live in America. And in America, Heinz makes ketchup. And you know what? America's already ruled by ketchup. And it's not very cool. So I don't want more of the same. My vote would definitely be for Magnum. I need a change. How very And Magnum's going to bring it. How very American of you. You don't have any ideas of yourself, so you just attack mine. <laughs> Beans on toast would be the national dish. Beans on toast. You can have that every day and not feel guilty. Like, I... D oh, my God. How amazing would Wait, that you're be? you're telling me you're not going to feel guilty when you're on the subway and you're ripping ass the whole fucking time? I'd feel a little bit guilty. But in the Heinz country, where it happens and everyone's doing it, I wouldn't feel guilty. Oh, that would be the norm. Fuck, dude, you got my argument beat. I'll win again, boys. I concede defeat. And I'm getting all that rich Heinz lobby money. Let's do this. Oh, dude, the prom's like tonight. Is it? Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. And I think we're going to... Mm. Next episode probably won't be the finale, but maybe this is the penult... Next episode will be the penultimate episode. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know the difference between those two things, so let's do it. Penultimate is second from last. I think you could have got that from context. Bye-bye. It's funny how I know all the words, but I understand nothing. <laughs> That's pretty much your your way of life, yeah? That's my opus... Uh, uh, op, mod, modus operandi? Is that... Why are we laughing? <laughs>
That was good. You could you couldn't have wrote that. And the fact that you don't know. <laughs> I know all the words, but I don't understand my, understand what they mean. That's my mo 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 modus op operandi. That, 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 that's what that <laughs> means, right? That's a really good outro. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Okay.